it's 11 o'clock in the morning and I'm staring at the second cup of coffee, which is empty. Yeah, since parenting, coffee is life. Welcome back to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host Aaron from Panventure. Welcome to a new video on our channel. And in this one, we are discussing a very interesting topic. I'm gonna to share some news, some interesting things, and you will see some pretty cool stuff. This subject may be interesting, but you may know it or you may be having no idea of its existence. Anyway, in today's video, I'm gonna show you some interesting things. I'm gonna tell you a few facts regarding stacked nibs. And I'm gonna start first showing you what initially draw me to this, um, let's just say pretty deep rabbit hole inside a rabbit hole. And what I have here, it's my classic pants LB5. And this is equipped with a very interesting Nagahara cross point nib. Zooming in, I wanna show you something regarding this specific nib. This is the gorgeous 21 karat gold nib from Sailor, which has been modified by Nobuyashi Nagahara to have another nib tipping and another nib welded on top and the actual tip of this nib, it's ground in such a way to offer a very interesting line. If you use it like so, it's gonna be riding very broad. If you up the angle, it's gonna ride pretty extra fine-ish. And there is a video regarding this fountain pen. I'm gonna link it up here, you can check that out. Ever since I've got this pen, I've been developing this taste for stacked nibs. And uh, don't get me wrong, it's a developed taste. You may like it or not at the beginning, but I'm pretty sure in time with use, you are gonna be in love with such a nib. Since Nobuyashi Nagahara is no longer with us and you pretty much don't have this nibs available on the market, there is different craftsmen that went into this rabbit hole and started researching and doing stacked nibs. And I have been on a quest to find the very best example of this art form, this, this alchemist type of an individual that can fuse the nibs in such a way to be just looking like it rolled off the assembly line from a big manufacturer of writing instruments. If you take a quick look at this cross point nib, you can barely see the welding point. You can barely see where the seamless transition in between those two nibs is. And this is exactly the kind of thing that I was looking for that having in my personal alternative to a Nagahara cross point nib. And uh, the person that I stumble upon is Jeremiah Hackett from Monty Winfield. This is one of the most interesting, most talented, most knowledgeful, resourceful people that I have ever met. This person can design, manufacture, and make a specific writing instrument or pretty much anything. This person even designs tools and produces tools. So this person is located in the USA and I requested for him to make me a custom pen and this is what I got. This is one of his creations, this beautiful pen. This is ebonite, this is lacquer, not urushi lacquer, just normal lacquer in very, very good light. This is a brownish pen, if you believe me, or let's just say a Akataminuri-like brown reddish color, but you need pretty good light to see it. On this fountain pen, I requested him to make me a seagull nib. This is welding on top of a normal nib, another portion of a nib, and this nib is writing pretty unique. In normal writing, it's a medium. In the reverse is a double broad architect. And it's a stunning nib that I've been in love with for the past few years. If there is a video regarding this specific nib, I'm gonna link it up here. You can check it out. And since we are here, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm and everything else. And also stay on on this video because I do come bearing very important good news. Ever since we started talking on this fountain pen, I really wanted to put something together with Jeremiah Hackett, the person behind 
Monty Winfield. His background is in jewelry. He does wonderful things. You can check it up on his Instagram account. I'm gonna link it someplace up here, up here. I don't know, you can go there and watch this person just simply create unique things out of metal with his bare hands and his tools. And sometimes he even produces his own tools. And uh, we talked and Jeremiah is a very busy person. And I can understand and I can relate. As you go forward and have success, your time is more and more limited. And I do respect him a lot. We spent like a year in the making uh, of just talking back and forth and uh, we came up with an idea. What if we can make some of your stacked nibs in different configuration available on our Penventure website for our customers, we can make them in such a way to fit a variety of fountain pens and we can have some of your things on our website in this way, making sure that even our customers that didn't found out about you, Jeremiah Hackett, Monty Winfield, AKA, can get a taste of your work. And we shook hands, I don't know, at least not in person, uh, online. And finally, we had some things showing up. Before opening the Pandora box of stacked nibs, let's start with something a little bit more easy. We told Jeremiah, hey, Jeremiah, can you help us with a set of cursive italic round nib units? He said, okay, let's go. And premiering right now, I'm gonna show you what we've got. We have a fine cursive italic ground nib. We have a medium cursive italic ground nib and a broad cursive italic nib. This is a wonderful, wonderful idea to have this pre-made custom grind nibs for you all. We are planning to do also architect ground nibs, but since the architect, it's a little bit more problematic because it implies a specific angle for the user. We started with this incredible cursive italic grounded nibs just to get a taste and to see if you like them. And I do have right here in my notebook a sample of this nibs. And here we have a fine, which is pretty fine in my experience, a medium cursive italic. You see, there is a little bit of line variation, of course, and a broad cursive italic. The 1.5 stub has no tipping and the, the, the lateral edges of the nib is pretty round on this tipped nibs, the fine, medium, broad, they are having a little bit of squarish uh, like this tipping and uh, there is a little bit of very, very nice and tasteful crispiness to this specific grind. And this is what, in my opinion, makes them a little bit more appealing. It's a plug in and play option. So if you own a Leonardo fountain pen, if you have a screw in nib unit also fits the La Finise one. So if it has a La Finise nib, it's very easy. You just plug it in. Uh, I'm gonna show you a, a brief demonstration of this, a Momento Magico. You take the nib unit out like this and you install this one like so and voila pricing is 80 euros no vet this includes the nib unit and the nib itself so a nib unit like this one if it's a medium normal medium it's priced around 30 euros or so about 50 euros is the work and the shipping in between us and also jeremiah at monty winfield if you are planning to get a grind on your fountain pen it may take a lot of time because you need to wait in a queue also it will imply that you will be also responsible for the shipping cost back and forth i wanted to go about and just simply have a bunch of nibs pre-ground and ready to go from our inventory. And since we made like maybe 10, 15 right now, so we think that we have a pretty good solution for your time and your cost available right now on our website. As we speak, I'm gonna leave you a link down below for all of these products. If you want to go about, know that these products will be restocked. If you see it available right now, get 
to order it. Jeremiah does pretty much around 10, 12 types of stacked nibs. This number, it's growing because he experienced with a lot of interesting things. I'm pretty sure we will not have all of his nibs in our inventory. I believe we have like five types of nibs. We had a cobra, a peregrine, and uh, we had an owl, we had a seagull, and we have a avocet. And besides this, there is the cobra, which already has been shipped to the customer who purchased it, and he is super happy. I'm gonna do a very extensive video on all of these nibs as we have them in our inventory. Right now, we only have like three of them remaining because I'm gonna show you four, but one, it's already sold, but we already sent out an order for German Hackett to produce a very extensive line. We added, I believe, a basilisk and a few others. They are super fun, super practical, that can add a lot of wow factor to your fountain pen. And let's not waste any time. And let's start with this beautiful, beautiful peregrine nib unit. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and this is how we are sitting. This is a triple stacked nib. You don't see this three nibs, but if we turn the nib like this, you can pretty much see that we have three individual layers, one, two, and three. If you look from the side, there is no seam right here where the nibs are welded. And this is because Jeremiah invented and manufactured the welding machine for this nib and i'm pretty sure if he is watching right now keep it secret because it's such a the phone is ringing customers if you are watching jeremiah at this moment make sure that that machine is well covered and keep it secret because i don't know what you do my friend but you are a true true maverick because i haven't seen anyone doing this welds and making sure that no seams are just visible let me zoom in a little bit more mm, this is so so good and this is so so nicely visual if you look at it you can also see that on top there is no engraving on the snip units and we've asked this for uh, the specific nibs that are going to be sold by Penventure because we wanted to have the nibs fitting a variety of different fountain pens that are using a Yovo nib unit, the generic Yovo nib unit, and uh, we love them like this, focusing on the very beauty of the nibs, the very intricate work and craftsmanship to be visible on them. We picked a very, very steady and very interesting housing for the snips. This is made out of titanium by Jeremiah. And this is because the snip units are a plug and play option. Screw in, screw out. And uh, this is because it will be a lot of traffic and the stress need to hold. If you're spending so much money on a specific nib unit, we wanted it to be practical, steady, and to hold itself in time and use. The feeder is made out of plastic. So in normal writing, it's a very broad architect uh, nib and it has a very, very wet flow, very interesting, as you can clearly see right here. In reverse, it's a fine, we can say medium cursive italic, which is very practical if you write with it like so. If you are a broad, lover of nibs this is right on your alley and this is a triple stacked nib the pricing sits at 370 euros no vat and i know it's expensive but give it some thought if you have a fountain pen and if you want to make it more fun you have pretty much two individual nibs wrapped up in one with this one uh, this is the owl the owl is in Incredible. Believe me, it adds a little bit more because it is shaped in such a way that it's not only a very, very nice triangular like cobra type of a nib tipping, but it's also very, very taming in on the upper stroke and makes it like a hybrid. It's if I would make 
the Cobra more architect, this is uh, what I would got. A normal size six steel nib sandwiched in between two nibs, one on the bottom and one on the top. And if we turn it like so, you can observe the tipping being very triangular and swooping. And this is not by mistake because this nib, it's so complex and incredible. You will see in a few moments. And uh, you can use this with any generic unscrewable Yovo steel nib unit fountain pen. And I say this, but take it with a grain of salt because it may fit the fountain pen, but you need to be very careful on the uh, aspects of size and proportions inside the cap. When you cap the fountain pen for the very first time, it's very important to check and see if the fountain pen will fit such a nib inside the cap. And I'm gonna show you how it fits three fountain pens gradually bigger from Leonardo. And this may give you the confidence to know that this very gigantic nib tipping and the nib itself can fit in very small fountain pens. I have here a Momento Zero from Leonardo. This is a small pen and uh, I can show you how it's fitting. And let's take this converter out and let's take this nib out. And it's just as easy as this. We're going to put the nib unit and let's put the cap. Now, carefully screw it. It goes all the way down and it fits. And this is why I believe it's wonderful to have such a, uh, let's just say, full of character nib in a small fountain pen. That's the brilliant thing about it. On the Memento Magico, it fits. I'm gonna show you. And voila, slowly it goes smooth together. It fits inside the cap and everything is smooth sailing. And this is the Momento Zero PM1 2.0. And we still have a few of this available. This one has been sold, this beautiful purple blue-ish color. It fits very, very well together. And it fits inside the cap as well. Now have a look at this. In normal writing, it's a very nice Cobra-like with a little bit more of an architect aspect. Here is the, the, the 3D quality of this tipping because it's shaped like a naginata or better said, it's just like a triangular uh, which is going like this and on the topping, it's going to be very fine. If you start like this with the angle, as you move like this, it will gradually become very fine and if you use it on 90 degrees, it's just like a fine point. In reverse, it's a fine, this is incredible. This is a normal writing sample next to a reverse. So this is a monster of a nib, triple stacked. And let's go further and let's check out the Seagull. And the Seagull, it's a very, very nice nib. It's a double stack nib. So we have a normal nib size six at the bottom and on top we have another nib which is welded. Zooming in, you can get a taste of this incredible craftsman work. There is no transition, there is nothing whatsoever. The nib looks like it's rolled off the assembly line. The welds are clear, crisp, beautiful, seamless and very, very delightful in my opinion. This is what's just like an orgasm. If you watch this nib, it's just simply a very, very uh, mind-bending experience because I've seen this work from other people and it's just very off, very uh, all over the place. And yeah, the nib will write, but it will look that good. In normal writing, it's a medium fine nib, normal nib, like any other. And in reverse, it's a double broad architect. This is a very practical nib. It's priced at around 200 euros Novat. Uh, it's a double stack nib. And this is the one that I have also on my pen from uh, Monty Winfield. And uh, this is what I use most of the time because it's so practical. I can write like any other medium nib fountain pens. And in reverse, I have a nib which is designed for maximum line variation if I want to do a signature. And we have the Avocet nib. The Avocet nib, it's quite similar to the Seagull. But now, if you 
watch closely, you can check that there is a little bit of different approach and we have this very nice swooping tipping, which is ground in such a way to offer line variation as you increase the angle. Using it like this, it's going to have this broader line, which I believe it's a medium-ish broad nib and as you go like this with the pan it's going to get finer and finer it's very smooth usually with an architect you can expect that there is a little bit of crispiness uh, as you go from side to side it's just like riding with the blade of a knife going like this and it's going to be much more smoother as you go up and down but side to side it's going to be a little bit crispier but with this nib it's very smooth because there is a little bit more tipping and this will make sure that the contact surface is a little bit larger and you don't have that pencil like feedback as much as a normal architect nib in reverse it's a fine nib which I believe makes it a little bit more practical. And this is it right here. This is in reverse base size six steel nib on top. We have welded another nib and the tipping is very nicely ground, very swooping. It's a wonderful nib. This is pretty much what I have for you available right now at Penventure. I'm gonna leave you a link down below. Let me know which is the one that you like the most. Let me know if you enjoy what we've did at Penventure lately, the new website, the new things that are coming. And if you're still here, that means that you are a supporter of our channel. I'm gonna share with you some spoilers because we are getting ready for our five years anniversary on October the 10th. Get ready, get prepared because we do have something pretty special. We're gonna have a special pen. We're gonna have some special pricings. And pretty much I have to stop here because that's it with the spoilers. If you're looking for an extra writing instrument, scroll down, you'll find the details for our website, our social media accounts, phone number, email, anything and everything that you may need to get in contact with myself and I will help you with your purchase. Don't forget to subscribe to the Penventure newsletter because that is the place to find out about pretty much the very special deals, the special surprises that we've prepared for our five years anniversary. And you can find that subscription section on our website if you scroll down. If you want to support the growth of the Penventure YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. You can click there, turn the notification bell on and you will be notified whenever we have new content. Speaking about content if you want to continue watching my previous videos i'm gonna leave you this right here you can click and enjoy as always i'm your host Evan from pen venture i look forward to seeing you next video take care stay safe bye bye